All right, I'm Dean Thompson. I'm with Ghost Head Soup, lead investigator. My name is Mark Schwabe. <laughs> I'm with Ghost Head Soup, and I'm also a lead investigator. Actually, I was with another paranormal group, and uh, we were invited out here because some NIU students were doing a um, like an independent film. Walking into this place, oh, man, I mean, it's... I don't, it's hard to, you can, I don't know how to explain that. First impressions of walking into the Tinker, amazing. Just the fact that he did everything in that building and it's still the way it is. My first impression, we pulled up, it was at night. I believe it was winter. It's pretty cold and uh, kind of looked at the place and I'm like, oh my God, this place is awesome. And it kind of looks real, it kind of looks creepy to me on the outside and then one inside and it's just it's just awesome I, I believe it was my third time here uh, we were also we were invited out to do an investigation and we were setting up and uh, lights had just went out and I walked into the library from the dining room and I just happened to look up towards Robert Tinker's bedroom and I saw someone standing there I was like you know it was dark I saw like a silhouette and I thought it was one of our investigators and all of a sudden it wasn't there anymore and nobody was up there. They were still all downstairs. So that kind of, that kind of startled me a little bit. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few things that happened here. Uh, one of my first disembodied voices happened here. It happened when everyone was packed up. There was a good group. We had about eight people that night and had our coats on. Everybody was accounted for except for George, but he was in the atrium area and we heard this moaning or a groan of some sort coming from the power. Of course we had everything backed up so we weren't able to capture that event but that was my kind of my first disembodied voice that took place here. And then we had also a piece of evidence that we captured that we didn't hear which was Robert responding to us asking to come down in the parlor and we got a, a voice back that said uh, that I'm here. Well, I always tell investigators, because sometimes we'll accompany other investigators, just sit back sometimes when you're in the house and it's dark, just sit and relax and, and, and blend in with the house, blend in with the environment, because when you do that, things happen, it seems. You, you, you pick up on more.